Hello subscribers, D Forte here. I wanted to give a quick update on my game Forteverse. So today I'm going to be talking about two classes, or as I call vocations. We have the Bounty Hunter and we have the Bard. So let's take a look at the Bounty Hunter first. So I made an Elf Bounty Hunter here and they have some specific skills unique to them. Firstly, they have what's called a knockout attack because bounty hunters typically will try to capture someone and knock them out maybe from behind or even um, right in front of them they can do it. So they specialize in trying to knock them out so that they can take them with them. So they have that skill. They have a constrained skill which takes effect after you've actually captured the person, whether you knocked them out or entangled them or whatever. It allows you to tie up their hands, maybe put some over their mouth so that they can't speak, basically constrain them so that you can take them with you. And they also have a skill called entangling, which essentially means you can use maybe a whip or a net or something to get them all bound up so that then you can constrain them. So that, those are the kind of cool s skills that a bounty hunter can get. Now the other interesting thing about bounty hunters is they're the only ones that will be given special quests to capture someone like this. So there's going to be all kinds of quests that are handed out in the game. And depending on your vocations, it'll determine what types of quests you get. So, of course, based on your reputation of being a bounty hunter, you will get assigned quests to go do this. And, of course, you'll increase your experience and everything else as you complete those quests. Now, I also wanted to show they have also some miscellaneous weapon skills, mainly related to crushing type attacks or blunt attacks. But they also have a tracking skill that helps them to find the person that they're looking for. And that'll be implemented in a way where you'll get hints and kind of lead you in the direction of where you're supposed to be heading. And depending on your tracking level, it'll help you do that. And then while we're at it, since this is an elf bounty hunter, I'll talk a little bit about some of the elf bonuses that they natively get. So they get a bow bonus and a sword bonus. So similar to how Dungeons and Dragons used to give those bonuses to elves. They also have ultra vision, which means they can see ultraviolet light, which helps their vision in dark areas. And then they also have some resistances. They're immune to sleep attacks or spells, and they're immune to charm. So again, similar to Dungeons and Dragons, uh, those effects won't work on elves. So that's about it for the bounty hunter. Now, the bard I've shown before, but we'll talk about it specifically. Hey, what's up? So here I've created a halfling bard, and they, of course, can use a lot of ranged weapons, some others like whips and knives, but the skill specific to them of course is musical instrument and as you can see I've already normally I would have 40 here because that's what you can max it out at starting when you're creating a character but I've actually used it a few times here and I it's gone up by 0 0.065 so as you use it this number will keep going up and you'll be able to track your progress on your skills and that's true of any skill but of course musical instruments their main one but they also have a skill called entertainment and you'll be able to use that in various areas potentially to even make money so like you could be in a, a town or a tavern and maybe you want to entertain someone to get paid or I don't know maybe just to distract someone you'll be able to use that skill and they also have this gather information skill and that'll help them basically by socializing with other people and life forms to be able to possibly get some tips and rumors and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and use 
the instrument that I have equipped with the Bard. So I'm trying to debate on what kind of musical instruments they're going to start with. If I'm always going to give the same one or if I'm going to have some different ones. I'll probably lean toward having different ones. But this particular one is called the Lute of Distraction. And there's a particular condition you can get in the game called Distracted. And of course that'll impact your ability to dodge or maybe even miss a turn or something of that nature. So I'm going to use that on my own character here. I'll use it on Bolo, the bounty hunter. So you can hear the music went off and there you see the little distracted icon. So he did not resist it. And if we come in here and look at conditions, you can see that he's distracted right now. Now in a second, this is going to go away. I think I have it last, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, but yeah, there it disappeared. So in combat, you know, it may only last, I don't know, five rounds or something of that nature, but your music skill may affect the duration as well. So that's it for the vocations I want to talk about today, but I wanted to show you some of the music and sound I've been working on, and I'm going to post in the comments section um, where I got this music to give credit to the songwriters, but basically this is royalty-free music and I have to credit the authors. So I'm going to head toward Springfield right now and you're going to hear some music kick in in the background. Okay, and the Springfield City Hall doesn't have the music. It has different music if you listen to this. So now I'm going to head to the temple. Okay. And you're hearing the music fade out. I don't have any music for the bank, so that's why it is silent. Same for the marketplace. But once I arrive at the temple, then you're going to hear the music for that. And I'll probably have the music, if I can get enough um, provided to me, where it'll play in different areas. And I may keep it the same in the whole town. I'm not really sure. But think of how Wizardry 8 worked where you'd go to different areas and you'd have some background music. The same's also going to work for sounds. Like, if you go into a swamp, you might hear random frog sounds or insects and things of that nature. So I want sound to be a really big deal with this because my graphics are going to be limited. And I feel like with sound and music, I can make this a lot more engaging. And of course, you'll be able to turn it off if you want turn off the music by itself or turn off sound effects but I just wanted to show you that how it fades in and out based on the areas you go to and now I have that implemented so once again I'll put in the comments section give credit to these authors for their great music so I hope you guys enjoyed this update and I will see you next time